Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen. It is meme coin mania in full effect. We've been calling this here for a while. Today's a follow-up video from Friday that was a filthy, disgusting video. And today we're going to talk a little bit about how that mud bath went, the results of it, and can we expect this to continue on? Or is it time to sell everything and get the F out? All right, guys, if you're excited for today's video, which is not going to be as dirt, we're going to, we're going to sanitize a little bit. We're going to try, try to try to pull a little bit of sanity in this video. And, and it wasn't a whole lot that happened over the weekend. There was a holiday somewhere. I forget. It, 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 every day is a holiday in crypto. Um, but anyway, like, like I said, Bitcoin is just chopping sideways and it will chop sideways and we'll let it chop sideways. We're not, we're not going to leverage trade. We're just going to chill because why would you? I mean, actually, I'll explain to you why the DGen chain is a, an ultra leveraged play. <laughs> You'll see what I mean in a second. Um, but just to give you the highlights, a quick highlight. So last, last week, we still had $844 million of net inflows into the ETF. Explosive. And Fred Kruger comes out and says, we're right on track. Looking at history, different cycles. He, Fred thinks that we're going to Bitcoin is going to go to 195. If it continues with the, the kind of trends in the past, uh, you know, I, I, my, my, my gut has been, you know, just to always like say that technical analysis will, will be irrelevant moving forward because we have completely different markets now with institutions, governments, you know, everyone, pension funds getting into Bitcoin. So it's going to it might change the game. But, you know, it's, I've been surprised to see, um, you know, like some of the, like very, a lot of similarities, right? Like, like I showed you the, the, like these double bottoms and then like this correction bullet for the halving. And like, so, you know, it, like each cycle tends to have this kind of pattern. Um, so it, it, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, like, I don't know. But what I can say is I'll be looking for things that break those historical patterns to show us that we're maybe on a different tra trajectory. There's no way to know right now if Bitcoin's going to 100,000, 195,000 or a million, uh, this bull run, we, we just can't know. It's, a, it's like impossible for anyone to know. And anyone who tells you that they, that they know is just full of, completely full of shit. <laughs> uh, a whole completely full of shit, right? And they'll probably put out like every other day on their, on their X account, Bitcoin's going to 195, Bitcoin's going to 207, Bitcoin's going to 398. And then wherever Bitcoin drops through the floor, they're just gonna go delete all the other tweets and point to you the one that was closest to the one they called it at. <laughs> That's how it works, guys. If you, if you, if you play all the, if you play all the numbers, you're going to get, you just get something right, right? You're going to get one of them right eventually. Like, um, and then just delete that, delete the other ones. You didn't, no, no, no one needs to know that you, you place all your bets on everything. So anyway, the, the hottest narratives guys are AI and meme coins. <laughs> like, Obviously, um, all right, guys. Like, like on this on this channel, guys. Let's We have the the VVIP group for free, absolutely free, right? And and and, and if you're in there, it's where you're getting the earliest calls. And, and guys, for those of you who message me and say, ah, Kyle, how do I get into your VVIP group? Literally, every time I bring it up on the video, I say in the description below are the instructions on how to do it, please. I'm not trying to be an a-hole if I don't reply to you, but if you can't research a little bit for yourself, you're not gonna make it. So please practice studying how to research things. And when someone tells you the instructions are in the description below, what do you think, you, what's, what's step one? Listen, process. Step two, go to the instructions in the description below. And then you'll find the rest of the steps that involve you getting in the group, and then you're there. And then it's like, like tons of alpha, and then you can ask the community questions that are probably pinned up. Above. But you know, anyway, guys, I love you. But I'm just saying, if I'm not replying, it's because I'm really busy, and I kind of just giggle when someone sends me that question because it's like, you know, really. <laughs> um, so anyway, so that's for free. Um, this content is for free, and. Uh, and, and what I want you guys to help me, to help us do as a community, right? Because my, my goal, I'm going to be so damn proud if we come away from this bull run and every one of you guys who watch me on a regular basis are just so much better off financially. Like, like my dream for all of you guys 
is that literally in the next 12 months, you are in a radically different place than you were six months ago. And for some of you, that means becoming a millionaire. For a lot of you, that means being able to move out of whatever dangerous neighborhood that you're in or you know, get yourself into a more proper infrastructure. For some of you guys, that might mean going from a millionaire to financially free, which is, depending on where you live in the world, uh, a big difference, right? Financially free is when you can do what you want when you want without worrying about how much it costs. And that's a completely different status of freedom and well-being. And I encourage all of you guys to shoot for that in your life. And I believe that right now that that is all on the table, right? That is all on the table. And with things like Commonwealth and paid network and the way that we're structuring things, like, guys, as far as I know, as far as all the, the quote-unquote educators um, and, and whatnot from, like, like, I've been in this space since 2012 full-time. And I'm super passionate about this. And I stand by the fundamental principles of what Web3 ethos decentralization is supposed to do. Because if you actually study it, it's a far more efficient system. You remove middlemen, you remove, remove value extraction, and you create better models, right? I, I consider myself a systems innovator, not really an inventor. I just look at what, what works kind of, or what, what actually what's broken, um, and could work a lot better with the technology that we have today, and then I, I try to go build those things. Um, so I think that if you continue to watch this channel, as things roll out like Commonwealth and as paid kicks back into gear again uh, starting in a couple of weeks, um, I'll also show you guys how to use those to maximize opportunity, minimize risk, and, uh, and we've already done so many amazing calls, guys. And you know we have some of the best researchers on the team, even though it's all be a small team, um, we, we just, we're just all plugged in 24 seven, like nonstop. And that's why we're predominantly right. Yeah. Have we called things that didn't go well? Yes. But I would say that, I mean, in the typical rule of investing, especially in VC is if you make 10 investments, you expect nine of them to fail, but the one that does really well is a moonshot and makes up for all the losses. I don't, I don't think we're anywhere near that, that one in 10 ratio of wins, right? I think we're, I think we're eight or nine out of 10 calls that, that are being that are wins right now and not just small wins i mean we did over we're over 100x on whiff and just over the past week we've had like three or four between like i don't know seven to ten x's or something like that um it's just been insane right and we're the first first pre channel to bring you guys dj and chain first person to talk about that and so what the, i guess the point i'm trying to make here is that and I'm not trying to boast and brag here. What I'm trying to do is make us into a community. And, and later we'll think about ways to actually like maybe formalize that, right? Maybe we'll do some sort of NFT, NFT collection or token or like whatever. And, and, and that's not for me to decide. And I don't want to be the, I don't want to be the, I, I can be the person who maybe suggests it to us, but then you know, we'll figure that out later. But the point is what's most, most important right now is that this is a Forbes and Anna Mocha Brand's initiative. Uh, I never wanted to be, I have, I have never been in Forbes, well, probably because I don't deserve to be in there for free yet. You know, a lot of these kids are these people that pay, like they, they're Forbes 30 or 30, like you know that they're just like rich kids that pay to be in this thing. I never wanted to do that, even though I could have. But I think an organic in there, because I really do have a community that's, that's like supports and shows how strong we are together, that will signal a lot to a lot. And guys, the more that I am perceived as a channel to be valuable, the more alpha that just flows to us. And then it's my job and our research, my research team's job to ultimately filter all of that information that flows to us because we get so much inbound stuff. And we try to filter that for you guys, right? And so, uh, so that's, that's so if you, you guys, please just take how many, how much every time, ask your friends to go do this, whatever. Come on, we can't let Web3 honey, like, like come on, I mean, Maybe she's hotter than me, but she's certainly not giving you this much alpha for sure. Sanjay, like who is it? Ta Tang, is, well, it's, uh, you know, like uh, Meltem Demore, okay, whatever, but still, really, come on. Uh, anyways, I'm, a, I'm number 24 on this right now, completely unacceptable. So let's, I, we, have, we have two more days, like, like, one and a half days to vote. I need you guys to go out there. Action item just right now, pause the video, go click the link in the description below. It's 100.opencampus.xyz, and then, 
if you, you guys, are, you go to this you go, uh, content creation and st storytelling, you go find me, you vote on me, and that boosts us up. Let's make sure, guys, let, let's get number, we gotta get, we try to number one, there's every video I do right now is between 30 and 50,000 views. So if you're, if, if you're someone who is getting value from this, go vote for, for us. I swear this will bring us more opportunity. Literally, that's it. That's why I wanna do it. Literally, that's it, it's opportunity. So we're doing well, and we need to work together to scale this thing. We're already crushing like on, on, on uh, X and YouTube, but, like it's great guys, I really appreciate it. Um, but anyway, so let's, let's move on to the DGen stuff, right? So, uh, so <laughs> check this out. So with DGen, the L3, which is what we've talked about, uh, it's doing more volume than Scroll, Mantle, Startnet, Manta, Linea, Merlin, Aptos, Sui, and Kanto. Like, <laughs> like, we are a bunch of DGens in the world. Everyone wants to go to Vegas and like, you know, double or nothing on everything that we can do, right? Uh, and this was just the craziest casino in the world, as we said many, many times. So guys, remember, uh, I brought this to you guys. Like, it was just Friday, like seven, like, it was, it was, it was like, look at it. what is Friday? Uh, I don't know, I don't know what it was, but it was like, it was, it was 0 0.006, right? So I brought it over here, 0.006. Whatever, you 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 guys remember the video? Just a few days ago, <laughs> so it's, it was it hit already. It already hit a ten x, and then there's a little pullback from everything pulling back today. But we did a ten x over the weekend. High five! Well done, guys. I mean, like that's sick. That's a thousand percent. It's turning a thousand dollars into ten thousand dollars over the weekend. Like, come on. So uh, June says, Ox oh, June says, uh, look, DJ Chain becomes a rotation. Matter of when. Uh, plus what games are you are playing on chain. Arguably, it, it already has with a couple coins running, but it's still in the early innings. Can't think of, the, uh, can't think of it as first week of, you can think of it as first week of uh, base or blast, but with less hype. Uh, not much to ape over there, and there's too small for bigger guys to fill in and chill. Um, good possibility is that just subplot for the base story arc, but good for it becoming something much bigger than what it currently is. Um, it launched like this week. Yeah, and we brought it to you on like the day it launched, um, which is insane, uh, which is insane. And so guys, um, and, and a lot of you in the comments are asking like, how do I, how do, I do all this stuff? Like, and, and I know that the, the tutorial that we left in the, in the description wasn't very uh, thorough. So again, uh, this is my girlfriend, my partner Jessica. Her channel is called Crypto Express, X P R E S at Crypto Express. Go subscribe if you're if you're new to the industry and you're starting to get maybe maybe some confused on some of the videos I'm doing or like you want basic stuff. She's gonna be focusing a lot on like that onboarding layer, and that's gonna be critical. Uh, you know, so if you're one of her early community members, like you should just go join, subscribe anyway because I know that she's already gonna be doing some giveaways. And dude, she's a hot chick. Like she's gonna get so much, like people are just gonna throw shit at her that she's gonna be able to throw to you guys as a community. But like genuinely, she just makes it very easy for people to understand. So even mom and grandma and whatever <coughs> can can tune in. She's teaching her mom uh, how to how to how to buy and sell crypto, and um, and so she made a video because saw a lot of people like this was kind of confusing and a pain in the ass to get over to buy Depe. Right, and so uh, and, and I don't want to make the tutorial, right? So, so go follow her, so go subscribe to her, give her show her some love, and uh, and I'm and, and uh, yeah, I, I I I'm sure that there'll be like all like I said, all kinds of people just be just throwing shit at her, magic internet money, right? And then she'll just airdrop that all over you guys. So, um, make it rain, meme meme coins. All right, so uh, <laughs> so um. Uh, <laughs> And and I and I don't know I, under X I forget it, it, like uh, she's changed it before it was because um, I, I used to like back in back in like I don't know 2018 or whatever like uh, Master Ventures but like for me as a character my like, alter ego when I was like you know it was like Master Disruptor and so she was like Lil Disruptor but and that used to be Twitter handle but I think I think now it's Bitbell or maybe it's, no no maybe it's Crypto Express too no I don't I don't know go check it out anyway but uh, okay so. Uh, Serpent says, I'm convinced that DGen chain might be the smartest thing we've ever seen the cycle. Native token for trading, seven day lock-in, no stables. It's PVP, 
the, the Grand Casino, the ultimate display of current meta. Farcaster was just stepping stone. Think bigger. So when I told you that <laughs> we're not playing leverage right now on, on, on Bybit or whatever because we're already leveraging enough, well, okay, so if you think about this, now this is going to blow some of your minds, right? Like normally when you're trading uh, an altcoin, you're trading versus like on, on if you're certainly on, if you're on a centralized exchange, you're trading against the USD, the dollar, right? It's a stable coin. So well, that, that's very, very stable. So really the volatility lies in the, the counter trade, the other token. But when you have two very volatile tokens that are the trading pairs, that could lead to like if, if, because on, on DGEN chain, you only can use the DGEN token for gas and to buy these tokens on this Mint Club for now, right? They, there is a DEX and a, you know, that, that's, that's there, but, um, and it's, it's a relatively, I think it's like $13 million market cap right now, D, 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 D trade, D, DGEN trade. Um, I, I had a link for it. I, I got rid of it. Like, and and I, I'm a little bit apprehensive about uh, the, 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 de the first DEXs on any chain because... Well, it has worked out for things like Trader Joe and stuff before. Um, I, I remember when Base launched, there was no DEX. And I think the, the one that got the most traction, the, the quickest, like rugged or something like that, right? And everyone lost their LP and lost their money and stuff. Um, and so that was just a nightmare. Like, and, then, and then there's nothing to stop. Like if DGEN chain becomes actually popular enough, like it's EVM. Like all Uniswap and PancakeSwap have to do is like turn on a button and it works. Right, and then they'll come in and, and destroy it. So I'm not playing D-Trade, um, but some other folks I know are. Uh, maybe it's a good short-term thing, and then if when you, the second you see, but again, I don't know. Like, so what, as you guys, as you guys know, I told you before. Like, I'm trying to focus on things that, like, I have some sort of reason why I'm telling you about these things. Like, maybe it's a friend that I know who's like friend is making some meme coin, and like he knows a bunch of shillers and things like that. Right, like. Like, this is how this game works. Like, and we'll, and we'll get into it as we talk to this video. Like, there is, it, it's it usually, it's not always, but like usually the, the people who make the most are the ones that are the most connected. They find out about things first. They tell, so, so the thing is, is that, one, you'll never ever see me, even if I, you'll never see me selling my tokens after I make a video about them. Never, right? Like, like I, I don't know. I don't know. What my rule will be, like, obviously, obviously, I, especially with memes and stuff like that. Like, you need to take profit off the table. But I will never sell within like a short period of time after I make a video. Uh, I, I will never sell my dump my tokens onto you guys. Like, you can trace my wallets through the entire history of everything. I've never done it once. I've never, I've never even sold a token on a listing day ever for anything. Um, I just don't want to go through that criticism of like, oh, you pumped and dumped or you sold and blah, 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 blah. I, 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 and I just don't care. Like, like I would rather go, personally, this is me. Now I'm in a different position financially than maybe a lot of you guys. So I also have the luxury of being okay with things going to zero or forgetting about them. Um, but, and it's, I'm so busy too, that I, I, I don't want the stress of like trying to figure out when to like sell a token. And it, you, it, it can be very lucrative as we'll get into in this discussion. To, to do that, like, and if that's, uh, if you have the time right now, I would suggest that you go, you go do that and you go develop a strategy on this casino because this casino can be one if you know the game you're playing. Uh, using bots is gonna be a big one. And, uh, and so let's talk about that. Um, so Depe, guys, we called it a three million, little, little three and a half, well, three million, 3.5 on the channel. It was like three million when we called them VVIP group. So we're up already 9x, like, uh, yeah, on Depe, like, high five, high five, very nice. So we have 10x on DGEN, 10x on Depe, um, all in a weekend. Like, you literally, if you just, just passed out and woke up, you're 10 times better off. <laughs> and guys, Pepe coin, finally, finally, a little bit of a pullback. I hope that you guys use this as a buying opportunity, and you didn't say, oh my god, is it, is it over now? Is it run over? No. If you're watching, no, you guys know, you buy these dips, aggressively buy the dips in a bull market, especially on the ones that we have the most conviction in. You guys know how much conviction I have in Pepe Coin and Based AI, like, big conviction, like, 
it's gonna be it's it's gonna be this this is gonna be absolutely massive. I told for the reasons I told you before. If you're if you haven't seen those videos like from la like whenever it was like what was it, like two weeks ago and then like you know I think I think I think Pepe Coin was was two hundred fifty million on that video. Uh, it almost at a billion the other day, and then uh, and and um, and base AI was it was at one hundred eighty million or one hundred seven million or something like that. So a two and four x respectively. Um, the short term play is Pepe Coin because you're about to go through some hyper deflationary uh, mechanics, but and and it's a long term play because it's the OG Pepe. Um, but base AI likely has the most upside. Because not only is it, in my opinion, probably uh, probably a, a superior, more useful version of Tau. In fact, if you if you look at um, Peter Diamandis's, it's really interesting actually. If you if you look at Peter Diamandis, his YouTube with a, with Imad, the CEO that just stepped down from Stable Stability AI, that made Stable Diffusion, that made Dolly and stuff. Um, so I just watched that and like literally Imad. Is concerned about a, a, a artificial intelligence, and, and frankly, so am I. Um, and this is why I told you guys in the video when I was in Alula that like we really need to find it's one of the most critical things right now is to find infrastructure that is going to have checks and balances, uh, that's going to be privacy protecting, that's going to be um, you know like connect every like uh, that is going to be super significant for our life. And and Ahmad talks about it. And when he was talking about, it, I was just like, holy shit. Uh, like he, the, he like like maybe he, he probably has read the based AI white paper because it, also because uh, he he describes what he wants to do like it's like his like his his idea like he like he had mod invented it um, and then Peter Diamandis goes and there's no one else doing this out there he goes no well no one credible at least <laughs> how do you know bro you don't know the base devs. Like they're just they're just a non. It doesn't mean they're not credible. They can be some of the most credible pe people in the weed. Like one thing for me, credibility is delivering on d delivering uh, not only on your roadmap, but continue to deliver and ship on ship over over years. That's one of the things that made me very bullish and and able to accept and cope with the idea that these guys were anonymous was the the history, the track record. When you see on chain proof of work, like literally proof of work, then you don't need to know who someone is. They're delivery. And then they go above and beyond expectation and make continue to, to make sure that you get value in perpetuity. Like, uh, so anyway, like a dip right now. Like, like how are you not buying the thing that's going to take over Tau, BitTensor, at a $320 million market cap when Tau right now is at like a $13 billion market cap? And Tau will probably run to a 50, 50, 100, 50 billion, 100 billion market cap. And if this is better, which I think it is a better system because Tau doesn't have smart contracts and it doesn't have FHE encryption, right? So it, is, it can't be fully privacy protecting and preserving. So this thing has insane upside. Buy the dip. Not financial advice, but like, <laughs> or as, as, what is it? Sailor, have fun staying poor. <laughs> you know, uh, okay, so guys, Jensen, uh, I brought this guy's. So if you're in the VIP group, you, you got this t like two days sooner than I made the video. Again, project called Jensen, and it was brought to me by somebody who works at a very large fund that's very, very connected. And he's yeah. Okay, so so again, remember it's, it's about it's about being connected and having the and, and you guys get to leverage my connections Cause because I told you when like when I started having making these videos dedicated, right? Like I said, five days a week. And then I came up the other day and said, hey, guys, I might take some days off from time to time. It's not because I don't love you. It's because I'm fucking tired. I'm busy. Or, like, I got to wake up early in the morning. Like, like I should actually wrap this up soon because I do have to go to bed. Um, but anyway, uh, and now, a month later, the man yeah, ran. As I showed you, this token that I was going to call into front runners, but like an asshole, I didn't call it, this Jensen Hung token, um, um, you can see it still continues to pump, even though this is not a token that is uh, specifically on base, right? It, so, so Solana Casino continues, but... It's so, so again, like, it's, it's a different... So these first narratives are the things that I find interesting, right? The book of memes was a creative, interesting, and new and different. All of these beta plays are... are like, like, 
you know, someone comes up with something interesting like dog with hat, which has been insane, by the way. Like, I, I, I hope that you guys are still holding at least some of your bag that we bought back at 40 million valuation. Um, I, I'm, I happen to be holding nearly everything, and, uh, and it's, it's getting to a place where when it pumps a little bit more, it inevitably, like, let me just put it this way. My, my whiff bag will be bigger than my Bitcoin bag, and it's taken me 12 years. You know, that's been 12 years of accumulation. Whiff accumulation was a few months. Like, this is the reality that we're living in right now. And I've never been so plugged in as I am now to take, it, to take full advantage of that. And you guys are the ultimate beneficiaries from all that. So go vote on Open Campus. Give us the likes. Give us comments. Share the video. Get it around. Because literally, the bigger that the channel gets, the more alpha we get, the more plugged in we get, the more we get right, the more money you guys make, the more, life, the more lives that are changed, the more that we can do, the more that we can build stuff, the more like, this, it's, this is why I created this channel. I didn't create this channel to, to, to monetize this. The, uh, yes, we want to make money th with this channel. It is a business. We will take sponsorships, uh, you know, this kind of stuff. But the real intention of this channel is really to be able to grow an audience, have a voice, and talk about the things that are the most powerful. Because the most powerful things are the things that will be the best. And there's a bunch of BS out there right now. And so I want to bring attention to the good things, right? And, but yeah, we all want to make money. And that's why we're trading the shitcoin casino. And, you know, like, and, uh, and we're, so we're not going to deny that either, right? Uh, like straight up. So yeah, so think in the VVIP group for some as mentioned uh, was over here on the sixth here. And then it went to some crazy pump. And then people are like, oh, it's over, it's over, it's over. No, 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 no. Guys, this is a very normal pattern for meme coins. It's a, this initial kind of crazy pump. And then people who got in way over here or take profits over here. And then the guys who started the project are like, but bros, we ain't done yet. We're just getting started. And then this continues to happen. And then we go into altcoin season. And then this thing just goes. And like Jensen is, in, and on my, on my X account yesterday, I made another little Easter egg in there for you guys if you're paying attention. Um, you will, it's kind of similar to Jensen in the way that it's, it's done. Um, I'll leave it at that for now because I'm, I, I'm not, I don't know if I'm supposed to share more, but it's there. Have fun hunting. You guys should definitely be following me on, on X at Kyle underscore shall say like, there's just so much insane shit on there that it, so usually it hits my brain first. I figure out what I'm going to do with it. If I'm going to, you know, go into this thing or not. And you guys, it's just safe to assume guys that if I'm talking about something, I'm probably invested into it. Like, I don't want to disclose that on every single thing because that would be stupid ridiculous. Just assume that if I'm talking about something, I have a bag. Why? Because I'm not going to talk about, I'm not going to go tell you guys, go, like, I'm not going to go insinuate or like encourage you guys to, to go buy something if I don't have a bag. That's, that's just stupid, right? Um, like, why, if, I, if I don't have a conviction in it, why would I tell you guys to go, to go do this thing? Like, like uh, you know, dumb. Anyway, it's, we're still up from even, even, when, even when we talked about it on the channel, it's still up right now, but look at, this is a, this is a nice, this is the daily chart, big reaction today. Um, maybe partially from my tweet last night, partially from Rand's, Rand's video today. Um, great, awesome, great, 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 great. So, uh, so I, said, I said, do you understand uh, like how much higher we go? And this is one of the reasons that I think building on base ecosystem is, uh, it's such a good idea, right? Because it's, it's, it'll be the on-ramp for everybody, the on-ramp. They're building this smart wallet that's going to be, you know, take away all the complexities of Web3, and you're going to be able to trade shit coins on, on most DVM chains or all chains, and like, it's going to feel like Robinhood. It's going to be sick, right? It's not going to let you do what Commonwealth and Paid Network do, but when it comes to the secondary market, it'll be like Robinhood, and it'll feel like that. It won't feel like a complicated Web3 wallet. Base is the place. Base is the place. Base is the place. And here's where you go vote. 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 Go from two days ago or three days ago, I tweeted this out when this was at 1.5 million and like, oh my God. And just to show you guys proof, like no bullshit. Like I actually have this coin. I could tell from This is voice, Uniswap. Bro. Like yeah, this is me. This is isn't bullshit. Like this is for real. Yeah, you're stoked. Oh my God. If I check my balance right now, I have 
around 30k worth of this coin right now and, you already sold and 15K. i already i literally just sold yeah so so the, the this story is like that and there's stories like like this this guy turned 0.1 eth into 10 million dollars of keycat on base um and he used it by sniping and whoa 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 whoa, whoa. how do i skip whoa 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 wait no i didn't skip did i skip this we talked about pep yeah we, you know we talked about, did i just did i just brush i don't even remember Kekbot? Nah, we didn't talk about Kekbot. I, I must have just jumped right over. Yeah, I just jumped over this. Guys, also, you know, when I first started talking about Pepe Coin and Base Day, I'm just going to cover this real quick, is that I said that the team was going to focus predominantly on, on Base Day I, and they were going to incentivize or re reward the, the like, loyal Pepe Coin community holders um, by bringing utility back to Pepe Coin by this burning mechanism for Base Day I, for the brains. But... That was actually misinformation because there is there there's still a team dedicated on the Pepe coin ecosystem and development. And evidenced by that, you can see this tweet from a few days ago from the official account. Let all butts run <laughs> oh butts. Let all ro oh, pff, let uh, I gotta go my bed my bedtime. Let all bots run on Pepe coin. April twenty eighth. The countdown has started. Keck bot. Keck bot like it's gonna be sick it's you don't, you don't think this is gonna be sick like this is gonna be sick this is gonna be fucking sick uh it's gonna be the the, the like when you want to snipe something you know, this is gonna be the tool that you're gonna use when you and then it's just like guys let me just say it let me just say it i think people are tired of hearing it on my twitter but that's okay i'm just gonna keep saying it the peppening say it with me the peppening is happening the peppening is happening and if you guys are wondering what the hell i'm talking about that this is the OG Pepe coin, and that's the one that you guys should be buying. I have sold all my Pepe. You guys know I was a huge Pepe bull. Then I found out the real story from the Pepe coin devs, and now I know what's up. And you can see it's trending here. And we brought it to you, and you guys don't see it. And the base AI is trending too. And y'all got in. Y'all got in on action. The the first big. I mean, it's not, I'm not gonna lie. It, it was already had decent traction before, but like. We kicked it off, guys. We, we did kick it off. And, and for good reason. This is a good, like, genuinely good project with good intentions. Like, one day, I want to invite the community member up here who I've been talking with a lot to tell you the story. He actually shared it with me the other day, um, his involvement with the devs and, like, how he was contributing uh, when they were basically out of, almost out of money. Uh, and dur like during af after the whole Pepe coin thing, when the the guys you know like it was rough for the de the Pepe coin devs like um, and this guy stepped in and and, and helped like uh, make some con contributions to him because he believed in it so much and um, it's just a really awesome story to hear and uh, it it's just it's it's a really strong genuine true community and I I think that that's that was built over time like that community that builds over time is a community that builds trust. And loyalty and, and integrity, um, you don't have that. And like, even if you, if you watch like some of the panels that Banter has and stuff like that, like no offense or anything, but like they're talking about this meme coin has a strong community that was launched yesterday that they have created the day before. No, no, bro, it doesn't fucking have a strong community. I guarantee you, it doesn't have it because everyone in there is like, when moon send it, diamond hands when they're dumping. They're saying hold, dump, dump, dump. Like that's not a community, right? Community needs to feel special. They need to feel like the 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 the, the heads of the community, the organizers, the the you know that that they that they want for what's best of the community, and that's pretty obvious. Um, you know who runs in that modus operandi. Like we're actually building our manifesto for paid network right now, and that will be delivered with um, the thesis right about what we're doing over there and. Uh, and I am convinced, I, I, there's not a whole lot of people in the space, but I am convinced that those who build with the proper token economic models, properly in the, in the ethos of Web3, forget equity, it's meaningless, man. Build this, like, your goal should be decentralized. Your goal should be all value accruing in the token, not in fucking equity. Like, that's a joke. Not if you, not, like, not if you have a token, because when you have a token, you're supposed to be building economic model it should have monetary and fiscal policy like it's think of it as a as a digital nation state 
right? And build that economy. How is it stated? How is it sustainable? How does it, how does it, how does it generate revenue? And how does that revenue get distributed throughout the ecosystem to make sure that people are doing jobs and getting paid to do the, the jobs? You know, whether in Commonwealth and paid, it's going to be doing tasks, it's going to be making memes, making videos, doing you know, and you're going to get rewarded for that. And you're going to get, and the better that the protocol does, the more revenue it generates, the more money that we all make together, right? And uh, and that's 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 how it should be, right? So for paid and Commonwealth, my upside is if it's successful and it's big. I'm still holding all my paid tokens, and when I get my wealth tokens, you can better believe I have no intention to send them anytime soon, right? Like because I have high conviction, or 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 if it even if it doesn't work out, I still feel like the only way that I should be able to become rich off of paid or commonwealth is if they're widely adopted and, and, and used by millions of people. And it becomes essentially an autonomous machine where we don't need to be involved anymore. It's taken over by community eventually. Guys will do it properly, don't worry. And, uh, and then, you know, then the, the founders and team get, to get there. Like that, that's how it should be, right? And then, and then we've, we've built something very useful for humanity. And then that, in, 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 in turn, we become very wealthy because we hold a a decent portion of that economic model. With that being said, guys, I'm, out, I'm going out of bed. Have a great day, evening, afternoon, morning, wherever you are. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.